If you hear Pierce in the background, just know he is uh, watching some Spider-Man with mom right now. So he's definitely having a great time. We just got done playing some basketball. I, was, I don't know why I even started the reaction like this. Like, we were just chilling. What's going on, everybody? If you're here, welcome to my second channel. Um, almost at 200K. Please subscribe if you guys want to see some more reaction videos. Uh, like I said it in one of the other reactions that I posted yesterday. Um, next chapter, we're posting season eight for the next literally like month and a half, two months. And then the Creator League is also posting like every other day. For a month or two um so gonna be uploading on here a lot uh today is j lou versus alex um man i remember I, I know everything that happened right I, I obviously was like also tapped into the premiere but i wanted to react and watch with you guys um again and just give you my opinion on certain plays some viral moments from j lou um, Alex's little comeback, also the twos and threes, uh, just a little bit more inside scoop, man. And also comment below if you guys want to see Scotty and some of these two, because I definitely do uh, want to hear his input on some things. But all right, let's get into it, man. Love that we're starting with these I'm interviews. Talk now. I came late, so I'm about to find nice. out who I'm about to play in my matchup. Kind of excited, kind of nervous, can't cap. Me, personally, I think it's Alex. Or maybe even B. Ellis, for real, for real. You know, that little, that, that, uh, that, that rematch, but. So the backstory on this is uh, Jordan couldn't show up when we were doing the draft, so he didn't know who, who, he, who he was playing, obviously. Um, and we wanted to do a segment uh, where we told him and kind of showed that on video instead of just like telling him and us getting into the interview. So that's the backstory. I thought it was pretty cool. Kept it different. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I knew it. The inverse, bro. Alex knew. So. This is going to be a good one. Okay, let's tap. This is going to be a good one. What's up? I'm at everybody's head. It doesn't matter who I'm playing. This has been brewing for a very long time. You know, when I first got introduced around Frigga Fan, when J. Lou was first popping. This shit's kind of first to me. Uh, Fun fact, I edited um, the interviews for the 1v1s. Um, Patrick and Scotty, mainly Patrick and uh, Kyle, they've been really crushing some of this, and Scotty's a lot of the ideas, and Grayson, you know, works on the production on set. So it's just really cool how it's starting to come together. We're figuring it out, though, right now. Um, but everybody that's been supporting the next chapter, we seriously appreciate you guys. I know I'm trying to speak for everybody when I say this, but we've had a dumb amount of support, so. I, mean, I haven't won in the next chapter game yet, so I'm trying to make a statement, bro. And Alex is a great defender, great offensive player, but my bag's different, and I've been working. It's all love outside the lines or between them. You got to meet the dog that everybody else got to meet. I'm not coming here to lose. You know what I do? I win. Alex, if you're in front of me, just be ready for him, cause y'all ain't seen, nobody's seen this day, Ooh, listen, free good money line, best GM. Welcome back to season eight of the if next If you guys have been chapter, watching the next we'll chapter, chapter videos here, right uh, now. It only makes sense that they're doing it here on the We're next down chapter. bad, but. I wanna pick him up, man. So, you know I mean, this is gonna be basically going at. Don't worry. Subscriber goal. <laughs> chill out, chill out. All right, I guess you can leave that, Pat. <laughs> Put a subscriber goal on the screen, Pat. I don't know why I was just taking the time to find it. I think I was watching the video and I was scrolling here when I could have just put the arrows a few times. Yo, I cannot believe I'm watching this right now. Uh, Alex vs. Jalen. It almost feels like we've seen it before. This must see TV. Yeah. I, I don't know who. I, I obviously I'm rooting for Alex, but like. Part of my soul wants to root for J. Lou too. This was You're definitely at that point where, like, you uh, want difficult. Alex to win, but you don't care who wins. Does that make sense? No, I, I want Alex I want, to win. I, I just, want Alex to win. We, look, we just lost the last one. I want, I want Alex to win. I don't mind it being a good game. I just want Alex to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we just we were trying to decide what to say on the sidelines there, man. Um, J. Lou just came out uh, looking very different. I've been hooping with him for a year and a half, two years now. I don't know, something like that. Year and a half. I don't know if anybody knows, year and a half, two years. And, and 
when he came out for this 1v1, you could just tell something about it. I was like, he looks ready. There's a difference between J. Lou playing like a little bit with injuries and when he's healthy and takes the time to recover. Jesus. I think Alex got to, Alex got to settle down a little bit. I think this is his, I think this is his first like um, real, real, real test that he's trying to settle in and get ready. So for the next chapter, yes, but Alex, I don't know if you guys saw it on my main channel. Alex played Trey Lewis, um, NBA, G League. He also played overseas, like, but professional for 10 years. And Alex went toe to toe and it was really, really fun to watch for sure. But on the next chapter, maybe, yeah. Looks ready. Like you can feel it. Like See, now I was just talking about Jay Lou. I feel like Alex is gonna come back and win, though. Yeah. But Lou came out crazy. Yeah. And go right there. And go right there, Alex. Settle in. Now you got his first bucket. I feel like he settles in right here. Trey Ball. I've always loved Alex's game. Um. He went to a high school near me. That's the thing that J. Lou was doing. He was shooting at me. Uh, it's not English. What did I just say? That man. Um, but yeah, I've been watching Alex since high school. And uh, I was a fan of him. Like I, when I graduated two years before him, I was in college and I was going to Alex's high school games because he was like hopping in our city. Red Coast Foods, Cleveland Ampo. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. So it's really cool to really cool to be working with him on something like this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud of him. It's a foul. Say, I don't remember when he got one. I know, I know it's about to get ugly though. If you guys didn't already watch this and you're watching it for the first time here, I might spoil it for you because <laughs> it's about to be over quick. Oh my God! He's toying with. See, God. that's where four dribbles works for a guy like Jay Lou, man. He's going to do that with three. He's gonna, he could figure out a way to do that with three. Not really what I'm trying to say is, oh, he did that because he had four dribbles. But that just looked easy. And so did that. Yeah, Lou, I'm not supposed to be cheering for you, but... I think Alex knew he was down. You know, obviously scoreboard's there. It's like on the platform and everything. He knows people are gonna see it. It's hard to like work your way back from this, but if anybody could do it, it would be him. I think he just needed to settle down a little bit. We probably should have had him call a early timeout, but damn, Lou. My God, Jordan, you look good, true. man. How you feeling, bro, with this game? Hey, man, I told y'all this is different Jay Lou. I can't cap. You feel me? Uh, I was a great player and all, but my bag different. Can't cap. Okay, you've been bro. in the gym a little bit. <laughs> working, preparing for this? Jordan does look a lot more swole, though. Like, look at his arms. Pause. Like, he definitely, that wasn't what Jordan looked like a year and a half. A year, even a year ago. I was a even great player and all, six but my months bag ago. different. Can't cap. Okay, you've been in the gym a little bit, working, preparing for this? Yeah, bro. That's crazy. I'm 0-4, bro. I need my get back. Oh, God. All right, so what's your game plan to go into the second half for you to continue your um, separation in the score right now? Shit, kill. Just kill him? Kill. Kill. 
I like it. Two times. Right now is when Jordan's oh got God. a ton of confidence. Guy, hundred grand. For sure. How you feel about this game? What do you think you gotta do in the second half for you to make a comeback? I make some shots. Work. You feel me? Listen to my team. Play a little bit more defense and it's fourth dribble killing. But I've been down before. I've been here before. Sure. On defense, what do you think you gotta do to try to stop him from getting so? Easy? That's stop why I brought up that third uh, dribble. I didn't. I don't remember Alex bringing that up at halftime. But that's why I brought that four dribble thing up earlier. Is just because like it is a different ball game if you're used to the three. But a guy like Jordan knows how to take advantage of it, and I feel like we definitely saw that. Bag is different. He was trying to tell us. Thinking he's shooting it. Keep going for that third when the hezzy and land. And he hit shots today. We good though. I didn't been here before. I adjust. It's a long game. What do you got? 15 more points. Long game. We so good. basically, get stops and hit your shots. You're saying. All right, get money. Let's go. Good luck. Hey guys, here we go. We're getting back in, back into it. Second half of the game. Wow. Oh my gosh. I didn't. I remember. Second half. I, I think I just saw this on Instagram today. And. I forgot that Let's that go. was right out of halftime. We We're getting back in. Imagine doing back this right out of halftime already half of at 15-5. Like, your confidence is already oh, wow. up. And then, oh, wow. this is man. This is the J. Lou we've been missing. Well, everyone on social media has been talking so much shit about him. And I think, like, he went away for a little bit and kind of woke up. It's, well, you got to think, he had an injury. Like, he hasn't been grinding like his heart hasn't been into it like it has been. Like, that's crazy, bro. He was, like, especially J. Lou with confidence like this, over with, man. Even the people in the back, like, one thing I want to say is, we this was not, like, an open event, just like some of the college students, I think, stay back and watch and whatever. And um, obviously people were, like, helping us out. Like they weren't sit, they weren't sitting right here at the beginning of this game. They were kind of like back over here. Then the game started. You know, J. Lou started to go crazy. They started to work their way up. Watch towards the end of the game. They're like standing back here. It's just that type of excitement is hard to come across. And it's like what J. Lou brings to the game uh, when he's going like this. Uh, same thing with like Scar. You know, it's just like that style of play, that uniqueness. It's hard to come across and. Just wait for it. I'm going to talk about uh, Alex's comeback, but I can't talk about it just yet. We were talking about sleepers, you know what I mean? He's never a sleeper because that's J. Lou, but nobody was expecting him to come out like this. J. Lou looks tough as shit right now. Moon, talk to me, man. How's the game going? That's facts. Nobody was expecting him to come out like this. Every time, game of runs, we just got to play better defense. Look, look, we got us to stop. Like he, man, just just uh, rushing it. You feel like you don't have as many shot attempts. You know it's 19 feet. Like that's ridiculous, bro. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Alex should have been playing off a little bit more um, with J. Lou checking up right there? He, he loves to play defense. Like Alex, I know, <laughs> no video might not help to show for, but like he's a really good defender. Shout out to my guy. Um, and he's just scrappy like you hate when he's guarding you sometimes. But I almost feel like he could have given J. Lou a little bit more bump if he gave him a step in the hand. But I don't know, man, because I'm not Alex, and I'm not, like, trying to worry about someone shooting over the top with just a hand up. I guess that's just how I put I would play Jordan with my hand out and just take a step back. But he was hitting, too. 22 to 5. Oh my god. Yo. We were trying. We were trying to hype him up. Come on, Alex. Yes, sir. Dang. I'm not going to lie. J. Lou obviously went crazy this video. 
But man, if Alex hits one of those, like I've talked about it so many times, you give Alex one shot, you're giving him four. Like if he makes one, he's not just done there for the most part, right? Obviously with every player that happens, but he just had two or three possessions in a row where that could have been his time to make that run. And it takes him just a little bit longer to make that run because I feel like Alex sometimes starts like this, right? But man, that's why I love him because he just doesn't give up, bro. Just watch this shit. Damn. That's the clip that we needed right there. Because that last dribble. Oh my gosh. He's in my bag right now. Uh, I saw like three or four Jordan's moves. What's crazy is no one really says anything because they'll never look like him. <laughs> but I know I'm, you know, what everyone would say, glazing on Jordan this video. Pause. But Jordan, you can't guard me. Jordan can't fuck with me. On one right He's starting it right there. Right now, Kel. Oh, and look at his face. Like, look at his face right now, bro. Like, he's just locked in. Bro, We're just a bunch of instigators, bro. man. Talking shit about him, man. Man, that's what internet I'm saying, turned, bro. The internet made this day. Alex, come this on. This is why man. Jay Lou been getting in the gym, bro, and that's why I said I felt like he was gonna come in this, ready to hoop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, don't let him get that extra money on you. He ain't winning. Mm. This okay. This is what I like to see. Look, he gave him that one free shot at the top, and he made it. Made another one. Goes and gets a layup. Someone in the back said he's due for a run. For sure. Keep your energy on defense. Right now is your time you want to focus on playing defense. All them pump and shit don't matter. Just keep him in front of you. That's what he wants you off your feet. I actually think I didn't really get, like, maybe in the heat of the moment it felt like play harder defense because I've seen Alex play better defense than what I feel like he played against J. Lou. And especially in the heat of the moment, I think I was focusing on like, yo, if you just don't let him score, you're going to get your chance to make your runs. So I was focused on telling him about defense. But in that moment, after he makes three buckets, I almost feel like I should tell him like, don't stop this run, you know? Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad advice, but just looking back at it now, it's interesting. Sure, I think he hits another three here. Boom. And this is exactly what I wanted to do. Mm. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we got a game, Mike. Man, I know you guys hear me screaming ridiculously. It's hard to keep your energy down, all right, in the heat of the moment. I just always have the fucking mic. 22 to 16, just like that. It was 22 to 5 a minute ago. And... Alex proves two things. One, that he obviously has the grit and determination to fight back no matter what the score is. And two, he proves that the twos and threes make a lot of sense in these 1v1s when we're trying to keep them realistic because that 22 to 5 gives it that feeling of like, oh, they're getting blown out. And then when they make their run, it feels like a true, honest, real, good 1v1 because we're so used to the ones and twos in this. But um, shout out to Scotty, man. That was Scotty's idea. He's definitely like, he was like, we should call me. He's like, we should do twos and threes at 30. Um, I was like, man, I don't know. We could definitely try it out. And I feel like everyone's loving it. So please let us know what you guys think about that. Let's see. Back in. Back in. I love it because now it's 22 to 16. If Alex gets another bucket here. See, if he hits that, it's a one possession game just like that. We just watched Jamie cook the whole video. Here he goes again. I 
don't even know how. That was such a weird angle to get a inside scoop offhand backboard, like off the backboard. It was such a soft touch. Watch how soft it hits the backboard. Apparently. <laughs> Love the free throws too. Um, the free throw on the fouls like keeps the game very honest. Um, so definitely don't think we'll change that one up. I know everyone's ah. Alex gotta shoot. I feel like I feel like he has to shoot this. I don't think he made a bad play. I think Jordan had a great recovery on defense. Um, they're, they're two completely different things, right? He could have shot that. That's a very makeable shot for Alex, for sure. Sees J. Lou's flying. That's a lot of space. So J. Lou's coming to block that, and he just didn't go up, and he tried to step through, and Jordan timed it up and got a hand on it. I mean, good recovery defense. More than you guys might think, oh, it's a bad shot. from one side of the court to the other and made it simple inside the paint. I forget what the stats are. I'm going to stay after and see what they are because I am interested to see how many fouls Alex had. I know a lot of people have said like, oh, we want to watch Alex play with refs. What am I doing? I'm wiping my... Beat up forces over here like I'm at the hoop. Just a tough shot. Get the ball back, I know. I'm just trying to see, like, what else could he have done here, you know? j Lou's giving him the strong hand. Alex loves to drive left. That's just a, that's just a tough shot. That's good defense again. Thirty to sixteen. Comment below if you guys think that this is the biggest um, win, like biggest uh, point margin win this season. I'm not going to tell you if you're right or wrong, but comment below. Let me know what you think. Say different, bro. Say different. Let the people know that we're talking shit about it. Say different. I'm back, man. That's the end of episode two. Man, I was I was heavy on uh, Jordan kind of like saying stuff back to the fans. Um, just because like there was a spurt, uh, a spurt, spurt a moment. There was a time period where Jordan was like not playing like Jordan. Um, but... Now we just filmed some other stuff too that hasn't dropped yet. The Houston run, the Lafayette run. Jordan went crazy. J. Lou pulls out the dub over Alex. First thing that I want to say is J. Lou, you look completely different right now. Kel, I, I want you to talk for your mans real quick. He looked like a whole nother player out there. Feel me? I seen he was in the gym. He was locked in, so I knew that he was gonna come ready. You know what I mean? Prepare for this matchup. But I ain't gonna lie, you still shocked me. Even though that I knew you was gonna come ready to play, but um, you got what you gotta say to the people. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I respect to Alex for real, but I heard he was talking shit. I should, I should have left him at nine, for real, for real. Oh my god! But I knew he was gonna say that, but I should have left him at nine. So we had a, we had a deal where we would um, give the. I think it was like $500 or $1,000 to anybody that kept their opponent under 10 points. So that's why he's saying I should have left him at nine because it was like 22 to five at one point. What? Oh, I wanted to pause it for the stats. So 13 of 20 from the field, two of five from three. Free throws, one of six. I didn't, don't remember him missing a ton of free throws. I guess I was probably just fucking talking too much. Probably why I need a live chat so you guys can just be like, shut the fuck up. 
Fouls one. Let's we'll see the foul count. I, mean, I left a lot. Free throws on the table, bro. But I'm locked in, bro. I can't cap. I'm at everybody head. Oh, shit. You should have oh. left him at nine, though. Damn. So right now, before we get over to this side, Team Kel's taking home $1,000 within the first two episodes. Devontae, how do you feel about that? I mean, we're fine, bro. We got, we got more games to play. I think I'm like... Eight pounds lighter right now than I was in this. Play, they were all, you know, first game was good, second game was good. He played really well. I mean, I know, Alex, how you feel real quick? Talk to you real quick. Man, everybody know I'm upset. You feel me? I lost. I didn't hit shots I usually hit. But you feel me? I don't take nothing away from J. Lou. You feel me? He came. Seven fouls, so seven to one. Six of 19. He didn't shoot very well. Four of 11. You know, it's not terrible. Um... Free throws all of one. Just honestly, just not Alex's best game. I, I really want to see a rematch. I, oh God. I still think J. Lou could beat him, but I think Alex could have a better game. But I mean, it's Alex and J. Lou. Alex could go in and beat Jordan too. Maybe, maybe we'll have them set it up or something. But you guys got to let us know. Jordan might make Alex sit on that for a while. Pause. And many shows, Resume. of course, we talking some shit. We're going to battle, but I see him again. You feel me? Both in Freaker fan. We'll check it up again. He was a better man today. Simple as that. Speaking of, it was uh, it was crazy. I, honestly, at first, I was like, I can't believe I'm watching this right now in person. So, um, an amazing show, amazing game. J. Lou. Subscriber goal right I wanted to skip right to this. 10,000 likes, 408,000 subscribers posted a day early. We're doing something in our season eight on the next chapter. Please, if you guys are watching this, Please help us reach our like and our sub goal. Um, it's helping push some of these towards the algorithm. And just we want to continue to make this big so we can get everybody paid and just like have a massive platform for everybody. I don't know. But you guys are the ones that are helping us. So that's why we're asking for likes, subs, all that stuff. So thank you uh, for supporting us. And uh, the next one's Canvas Mike. So if you guys want to see that, hurry up and... Go like and run it up on the subs.